I, I would love for you to just take your sunglasses off for one moment. Go, go, go. And tell Caitlin Clark. Yeah. What's in your real heart for Caitlin Clark? I want to bring peace yeah, yeah. to you and Caitlin oh. Clark. Let me give you an example of, of <laughs> what you do. All right, let me Create see what a misconception. What I do. Let me let me hear what I do. You uh, criticized or did troll Caitlin Clark over Twitter. I trolled her or I brought attention to her? I don't, I don't, I don't. Let's, let's you did something there. to irritate her and, and it created the impression you didn't like Caitlin Clark. I when love you actually Caitlin like Clark. Caitlin Clark. I love Caitlin Clark. She's one of the best athletes, women's sports right now. She's one of the best. Could we say that? Yes. Of course. So I brought positive attention to Caitlin Clark. With why Luke. did she block you then? I don't know why she blocked me. She might like me and felt emotional, like she can't stand me. Like was maybe I hit a nerve in her. <laughs> but it's Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's <laughs> it's, why it's, I know. it's excitement, it's entertainment. But let's get this clear. We only want to bring the positive, constructive criticism from my news station to Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is an elite basketball player who's doing an amazing thing, and she get what? No scrutiny. So we made a positive entertainment scrutiny saying it's Harry. Is it Harry? I don't know. But it's a funny entertainment to bring awareness to her and what she's doing. She's doing some great things. What are you saying? She gets no blowback? Have you not seen some of these angry women? What do they it, say? Oh, my God. Donna Taurasi, Cheryl Swope, they hate Caitlin Clark. Why they hate her? I think <laughs> because she likes men. Just, nah, I feel, I feel like, <laughs> just to keep it nah, real. Nah, nah. I feel like they hate Caitlyn Clark because she's like the poster girl who just get all the attention, all the praise right now in women's sports. Like if I said uh, Angel Reese, if I said Angel Reese keep it clean shave, you think people would make a big deal about that? Well, I don't know if people nah, give did. Me a real, give me no, a... no, no. I don't know if people did make a big deal about it. What ended up happening is Caitlyn Clark blocked you over Twitter. And then people made a big deal about that because you and we wouldn't even know you 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 told us that it's entertainment. That's what the purpose of CT ESPN. We bring in attention to positive things of athletes doing positive things. So I saw you went to her game before yes. you were in Dallas. Yes, we like greatness. We we appreciate greatness. Caitlin Clark is greatness. We're really entertaining and bringing attention to what she's been able to do in women basketball. I think is transcending with her and Angel Reese, the things they've been able to do with coming into the women's basketball game. I've seen you been talking about it a lot. A lot. And I asked you about what do you feel about it. But I feel like, yo, as, as, a, as a... Let's keep it all the as way a real. New, yeah, let's keep it 100. As a news media people, I feel like we got to do a good job which is building all women or all players, all men, people who are stars and treating them all the same. I let's feel like the media, the media creator perception... And have their poster child who they want to protect and how they talk about this person. Even seeing Tom Brady last night with the jokes he had. You know what I mean? I think people need to be more relaxed and enjoy comedy of being a human and being able to laugh, being able to be entertained because life is hard, man. Everyone's going through some. We all going through some. We're facing some. We got to get through. So anytime you can have a positive light perspective and bring attention to stuff that's you know, funny, I think it's, it's good energy. That's why we created CT ESPN, so we could talk to athletes that are doing something great, how they're handling these medias, how they're handling these traumas when people writing about you in the wrong way, scrutinize you in the wrong way. Because let's say you're comparing a championship college girl to an individual statistic college girl who are amazing. They both are amazing. Who are you taking these days? You taking the individual statistic or you taking champions? Because I know Andrew Reese had a game. It wasn't on TV. It wasn't broadcasted. Caitlin Clark had a game. It was broadcasted. So what, did that, what does that show you right there? Divinity, right? That, that showed differentiation. What's the difference between Caitlin Clark and Andrew Reese? There's no difference. They're both two hot women who great in basketball. They should get the same exposure. They should get the same opportunities to put the game on a higher platform and get that same look for each other. But what I'm seeing in basketball... Who played tight end for the Steelers when you were there? Who was... Don't matter. No, I'm just asking. Who? What I'm seeing with the basketball is... It's a black media... It's a, it's a takedown on black people being great in the media and white people getting a chance to be great. Just like is it Tom Brady and Ben Roethlisberger. They never had 
people talking about their personal families or their personal dramas or them getting sued. I'm sure they're getting sued. I'm sure they were sued before, but you never heard it talk about it. You never heard of Ben Roethlisberger settle out for $11 million or he keep getting dragged about it. You know, never see people write articles to talk about it. You know, why, why was that? Ben was dragged pretty hard. I want to. I'm actually. I'm gonna circle. That? We're not gonna run from that. We're not gonna. Run, but I'm just okay, gonna. Good. I just wanna. Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese. Because there's why a lot. Why is Angel Reese not getting her game on TV? And she's the champion. Do you remember? Why he, is she not getting that opportunity? I, of course, I know. You Heath know how Miller. much more of exciting of a player you were than Heath Miller. Heath Miller was a dog. He was a. Was he as exciting as you? No, but listen. We not even close. We can't. We can't beat players down. I'm not beating them down. Based on their excitement, every player, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, is at the same level coming into WNBA. Fresh sheets. No matter what you did in college, that's over. You going to the next level is to be determined. They should be on even plans field in regards to how they get exposed and how they get portrayed in the media. But that's what I'm saying. Go back to the media. Media pick and choose who they target and who they promote. That's why Caitlin Clark is getting the televised game. Andrew Reese is getting no televised game. That's why when she had, Andrew Reese had a press conference, a little bit of people came. When Caitlin Clark had a press conference, why is that? Because the media are always going to portray the people who they want to be the stars, and they're going to leave the black people who being stars to feel low. That's reality. So all the attention A.B. got, because at one time, Know why A.B. was getting attention? Because he was being great. If I wasn't being great or doing something that was astoundingly great, I wouldn't be able to get You don't think Caitlin Clark is being great? She's being great, accomplishing stats for herself. She never won the championship. That's that's real. Basically, had back to back Super Bowl appearances. This is like you sitting here. Don't matter. Don't give Thurman Thomas. Don't give Thurman Thomas. You know what people like in sports. People love Tom Brady. Why? Because he's a champion. He's a winner. Did you like? Do you like Thurman Thomas, Andre Reid, Bruce Smith? Those Jimmy guys Kelly. was good guys. They did good in Buffalo. They're all in the Hall of Fame, of course. But you got four be straight Super Bowl appearances. That don't mean nothing. Andrew Reese is a champion. Champions should get respect for more than people who's not winning. You know about some championship basketball players who never won? Championship players. Uh, or receivers or anybody who never won. Like Charles Barkley didn't win a uh, exactly. NBA title. So he can't get in those Super Bowl winners, winning in rooms that Andrew Reese should get in. So I feel like as a champion and as a black athlete, we need to get more exposure. We need to talk about this. Cause imagine the, the trauma that Andrew Reese is feeling when she's feeling like, dang, I'm why? A- that is trauma. She made millions at LSU. No matter what you she's make, you think super- money... She's think, super popular right now. You think money determine how you feel or your well-being? You think money make your well-being? No, but I also don't think more adulation, more TV camera makes No, sure. listen. As a human being, it's trauma when you see someone else being treated better than you when you done, done as the same or more great things than that person. As a human being, when you're seeing you're being treated negligent than someone else and you doing the same thing? That is trauma. I that guess, is trauma. I, I guess. Imagine I, how Andrew Reed feels. She come from LSU, this big programs, and done so much, and worked so hard to put her face out there to be a champion. And she go to the game. It's not even put on TV because they're showing Kaitlyn Clark game. You don't think that's a slap in the face to her to make it seem like she's better than her? Because that's what the media does when they do stuff like that. That's pretty much telling her as a as a woman, as a human. You're not good enough. This person is better than you. That's why we showed that. That's trauma. I want to be clear. I've turned into a bit of an Angel Reese fan. Angel Reese a baddie. Shout out to Angel Reese. (laughs) She started making 100 mils. You're going to fly me out, baby. (laughs) Not because because I just love the femininity she's brought in. She a baddie, huh? Can you say she a baddie? It's not my language. What would you say if a girl hot? What would the OG say? I think she's I was, very feminine and presents herself in a... In, come on, man. That's... You see how masculine these women are presenting themselves? I know, but she's more feminine. I know. So that's what, what you I'm, think about that. What higher praise in this time could I give a woman like you present yourself in a very Yeah, but they don't like way. the head like that. A feminine way is not telling a woman she's hot. Like, how you tell a woman you hot at 57? 
He said, you smoking? <laughs> like, you feel me? You treacherous? Like, you a baddie? What'd you call her? <laughs> I'm trying to learn what an OG is saying. Like. <laughs> you talking about OG Christian. OG Christian, like, what would, what would, what's the rapper Christian? Love Lucas? the way she presents herself in a feminine fashion. Wish she cover up just a Yo, little bit more. Yo, that's some cracker shit right there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I love the way you present yourself, like. That's, that's how, look, man, these women are coming out all tatted you know, up. Listen and to all LaCrosse, right? LaCrosse is a Christian rapper. LaCrae? What, LaCrae, yeah, what would he say? I'm, I'm more into uh, Bizzle. You ever heard what of Bizzle? What would Bizzle say? Like, what would he say? A baddie? Uh, he's a rapper, and he's younger than me. So what would an OG say? Like, you got some junk in your trunk. You got it going on. She fine. She a rabbit. She's fine. Okay, yeah. Can you, all right. Can you just say Angel, Angel Reese? Angel fine? Reese is fine for a six she foot a three baddie. woman. She's a little too tall for me. You so you have been that over? <laughs> See, that's why I was being careful. That was just a question. I was saying, well, are you going to? I said, will you? Like, AB. So here's we yeah, agree on Angel Reese. I, I would love for you to. Just take your sunglasses off for one moment. Go, go, go. And tell Caitlin Clark. Yeah. What's in your real heart for Caitlin Clark? I want to bring peace yeah, yeah. to you and Caitlin oh. Clark. Oh, yeah. Caitlin Clark, we love you. There's no drama here. I'm excited about what you're going to do for um, women's basketball. Uh, you're an amazing player. I love to watch your game. It brings a lot of excitement and energy. Never mind CTS, ESPN. We'll love to have you talk, express what you deal with your traumas, your adversities, how you continue to be great. From people like me in the media bringing awareness to you, maybe the wrong or the right. It's all in positivity. It's all in fun and games. And continue to be great. Continue to keep focus uh, of being the best athlete you want to be. Continue to lead women's sports, pioneering it the way you want to pioneer it. I have a daughter. They look up to you. And look up to everything you guys are doing. So shout out to you, Caitlin Clark. And if it's Harry, don't worry about it. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss a moment of fearless.